What's going on, y'all? It's Mo. Today we're taking a quick look at this. This is the Fractal 75 Pro Max HD0. So this is the Fractal 75 Pro Max frame kit. It's the newest thing from Fractal. I'll go over the build specifics. Um, at the end of the video, we're going to start with some B-roll that will go over the components I use for this build. Although if you're looking to build it, I don't recommend you follow my build one for one. I would make some changes. So stick around to the end of the video if you're interested in that. Um, after the B-roll, we're going to have some flight footage, some flight samples. Um, and then, yeah, I'll meet back up with you here at the end to go over the changes. All right, so I got some flight footage for you here. This first flight is uh, the only one I recorded flight audio on. I did want to give you a sense of how loud the whoop is. You know, it still is a whoop, so it's not going to be terribly loud. But we're getting we're getting bigger in, in size, so those props are going to be making a little bit more noise. Um, nothing too bad, though. Nothing too crazy. One thing I want to go over, one thing that's apparent to me when flying this thing is that it's getting heavy you know we're starting to get up there and weigh all up with the 550 with what we were close to 50 grams i think um, which isn't considerable you know in the grand scheme of things but for whoops that is getting and that's getting heavy um you know and that comes across in the flight characteristics when i'm when i'm trying to do sharper turns when i'm trying to do these movements there's a little bit more inertia there's a little more weight behind the whoop and it's something that you can get used to but it is something that at least I had to get used to. And I'm going to get into the build specifics a little bit later, um, or at the end of this video, I should say. But I will address this now. One of the things that I would change about my build um, are the motors. I'm using 1102 22,000 kV motors, and they're not bad, but they are unnecessarily big. They're unnecessarily heavy, and... For this build, to be honest, I would want to cut as much weight as I could, and one way of doing that would be to go to maybe you know a 1002 or even an 0802. I don't know how I feel about the 0802 on an HD platform. I think it still would be fine, uh, but I, I gravitate toward the 1002s. I don't mind the large motor. I don't mind the weight. You know, once I get adjusted to it, I kind of like having that extra flickability and that extra oomph behind my um, my my whoop, but. You know, if you don't like that, you can certainly get away with 0802s, and especially on analog. If I were to make this drone again, I would make it analog. You know, I, I don't need this HD. I don't need this HD nonsense. Give me good old analog. Give me those. Give me the. Give me those grams back, and I'll. Uh, I'll see you at the races. I don't race, but. But overall, I'm really happy with this drone. Really, really happy with the fractal. You know, every fractal that I build, I, I'm impressed with. I'm impressed with the flight characteristics. I love the low profile of the drone. It's super resilient. Um, okay, and we're going to move on here. To, this is I'm going to show you all the different camera settings. And the reason I'm doing this is because I know one of the benefits of the fractal is that you kind of get the ducks out of view, or at least for the most part out of view. We're, we're looking at 16.9 cropped here. There's no color grading or, or no post editing of the DVR. This is just raw DVR. Um, I think this looks pretty good. I really do. I th you can still see the ducks, obviously, in the corners. It's because the camera is so protected by the ducks. It's so deep seated in the ducks. I think you can you can do some manipulation, maybe to bring that camera out, because I know there's multiple holes um, on the carbon fiber frame that you can mount the camera on. So you might be able to get those even further out of the way. Um, and you know, you can see it here, and we're moving on to 4x3. Um, you can still see the ducks. So if that does bother you, I think there's probably things you can do to get that camera out of the way there. It doesn't really it doesn't really bother me. Yeah, the HD, HD0 image, I mean, some people don't like it. Some people love it. I like it. I really do. I think if you're going to go HD on a whoop, look at how fast this guy's going, man. I'm like, I'm going to catch him. He's going way too fast for the neighborhood. 
You know, I should have got his plate. Should have, should have, should have done a drive-by whooping. What was I saying? <laughs> oh, if you were gonna go with an HD whoop, I'm, pr I'm partial to HD zero. I think it looks great. I really, I really do. It's got great low light performance. I was gonna show that, but I'm not reviewing HD zero. I'm reviewing the whoop. Um, great low light performance, and the image quality is really good, uh, in my opinion. Finally, we're moving on to 1080, uh, 30 FPS. Uh, HD Zero really recently released a firmware to make this playback a little bit more smoother in the goggles or while you're flying, it's, it's a more smooth image. It's still not in the best to fly in. You're not going to enjoy it, but it, it's doable. It really is. I, I don't have a. I don't really have a problem with it. Um, and if you know, if you want to get some 1080p image, maybe a little. I mean, I, I don't want to use cinematic and HD Zero in the same sense. It's but it looks pretty good. You and you can do it. I would. I would say give it a try. It's kind of fun. Look at how beautiful that sky looks, though, huh? Look at that. Beautiful HD Zero. You'll notice the drone recovers out of any dive you throw at it with no yaw washout whatsoever. It's it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Um, all right, yeah, so that's all I really got for the flight footage. Uh, I'm going to go over the build in a second here. I'm going to go back to the desk. So if you're interested in hanging around, hanging around I'll give you some build tips here. All right, so here we are back at the desk. Um, I want to apologize for the mess. I want to say it's never like this, but in reality, it's like this most days. So I can't can't lie to you. Um, I, yeah, I just want to go over a couple things I would change from this build. Um, as of lately, I've just been building off of spare parts. You know, anything I have on hand, I've been spending too much money. So in order to cut back, I'm just kind of reusing things. Um, that being said, if you were to build one of these, be it HD Zero, Walk Snail, or Analog. I would suggest you not use 1102s. Um, I think 1102s are just too heavy, too much for the build. Now, I'd say if you were building an analog version, you could probably get away with 0802s on here. You know, 24, 25,000 on that larger prop is going to put out a lot of power. Um, these 45 millimeter props, there there are some available by Gemfan in one millimeter shaft as well as 1.5, which these are um, bi blades and tri blades. I found that this platform works best on tri blades. If you're a good tuner, I'm sure you can get it to work on bi blades, get some extra efficiency and you know less prop weight. But the tri blades seem to work really well for me, so that's why they're on there. So yeah, definitely change the motors. If you did have an HD setup, Walk Snail or HD Zero, I would still not go with 1102s. I would go to 1002s. You know, you save some weight, and you're going to make up that power and the weight savings. I think it's I think it's a no-brainer. The only reason I, these aren't bad motors, don't get me wrong. I actually think they're okay on the analog version of the Meter 75 Pro. Um, they're just heavy, and I think they're unnecessary. Another thing you noticed about the flight footage is I have a little bit of shake, and you know I think that's partly my tune. But this camera is kind of tightly packed in there. It's against the ducts, and it's also brushing against the carbon fiber uh, bottom plate there. I would. If that shake bothers you, and it doesn't really bother me, um, one, you could probably tune it out if you're a better tuner than me. Two, you could probably throw some either foam be underneath the camera, between the camera and the um, carbon fiber plate there, and even maybe the ducts, because any vibrations is, is going to come through that camera. Um, I it, Like I said, it doesn't really bother me, and I'm sure you can do um, techniques like that to, to lessen the shake. Um, but just something to keep in mind if that does bother you. But yeah, if I'm if I'm being honest, I would build this again with an X12. Make it analog. I know I don't, analog doesn't bother me. I like the weight savings. I would bring down the motors to 0802s. Put an X12 on there. Lose you know a, a good amount of grams, and that thing is going to fly a lot better. And one of the benefits of this frame is it's super durable. It, it truly is. It's, a, it's such a low profile. You have no yaw washout ever truly ever um so definitely want to check out you know build it how you see fit build it however you want you can copy this build even if you want um you're not going to really go wrong with any of the configurations those are just some things that i would do if i were to do it again um anyway this has been mo i hope this helped you out i hope you enjoyed watching um and talk to you again soon have a good one jesus